visiting some close friends of mine that's Romark and Michelle and their dog MJ and I wanted to experience the PCH on two wheels I actually used to live in Venice Beach so I'm very familiar with the roads and I did find a rental company that was close by and completely avoided the 405 and the 101 because I know I'm just not ready to hop on there and this place was awesome they had over 100 bikes to choose from I was just really picky with my selection have this Porsche as well? No, I have a, a Triumph Street Twin. Mm yeah. But I wanted to stick with something a similar height. That is called the uh, Yamaha Bolt. It's a 900 cc. It's a American Japanese copy of the uh, Sportsters. Okay, cool. Same uh, specification, and same weight, same look. It's just without the rumble. They can imitate anything, but they cannot imitate the rumble. It's mm -hmm. specified. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's three. Three, three. Oh, yeah, this is like 300 cc. Yeah. Yeah, that's easy a... to manhandle. No. <laughs> I like low seat bikes. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What, well, you gonna limit yourself to one bike? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 that does not look like you. <laughs> yeah, it's just not me, I don't think. Huh? Yeah. I yeah, yeah, like, yeah, or nay? No. Are okay, you going to be leaning forward? Yeah, that's a different lean, lean angle for me. I think that the, the bolt might be more similar. Yeah. Okay. Just like I said, the reservation is not confirmed. Yeah. You can always decline it. And okay. Nothing has happened. Yeah. All right. So we're doing bolt or this? Um. Yeah, I don't think that one. Bolt? No. This is the first time renting a bike with women, and it's, it's, this is taking forever too. Okay. Just kidding, you love it. <laughs> We're gonna do with all that hair. You don't have to tie it up. Oh now. yeah, I tied it. I don't want the chain to. <laughs> oh, this is such a low seat. I think I did forget my um, what paper license. With my visa stuff. You don't have actual. What? I need to have the actual thing. Yeah, it's a, or it's a, it's I have it. It's just not with me. So Where is it? It's at your guys' place. Oh, Damn right. it! Just go back. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. okay. I'll get it out there. Like look, okay. Uh, Jesse, we asked you. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so we just got the bike, and I'm going to practice a little bit in the parking lot just to get comfortable with all the different settings and where everything is. So I feel comfortable going out on this ride. So this is the first cruiser that I have driven and I was definitely not expecting it to be so difficult to turn. At least it was for me. It felt very heavy and very awkward and it almost felt like I was going to drop the bike twice, which I didn't. I've never come so close to dropping a bike since I have started riding. So it, it shook me a little bit, but I know that those were sharp turns and that I could do better with a wider turn and just more practice. But yeah, I saved it here too. <laughs> so bad. Dude, she, she, she almost ripped it. <laughs> she almost fucking ran into the wall. 
comfortable? You gotta try it. I mean, not the greatest. Huh? <laughs> Turning seems really hard. Can you handle a U-turn? I think so. Okay, just stay wide. Yeah. You're not, that's like the only, the only turn you have to worry about is a U-turn right now. You yeah. can make a right turn, you can make a left turn, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go pro up. Alright, this feels weird, but here we go. I think the weirdest thing is my foot positioning being so far forward. Man, I'm so used to my street twin. This feels so different. But I feel like I'll adjust quickly. I am just a little concerned about my turning radius. It feels, feels different. So one thing I'm not going to do while I'm visiting here in LA is lane split uh, for a couple reasons. Because I am a new rider and I definitely have zero experience lane splitting. So I'm definitely not going to put myself at risk just because it is legal here. So I'm just going to safely follow behind the cars and just ride my own ride. This is really cool that I'm going to get to try out different bikes and I just have to say I just makes me really really appreciate my triumph even more because yeah I don't think um, I never would have bought this bike after like test driving it that's for sure after riding the triumph I just love triumph they're just such such great bikes grateful that I was able to experience riding this bike in Southern California and I'm so happy that I pulled through and made it work because after the parking lot disaster I almost didn't go but I had to remind myself that even though it's not my bike the mechanics are still the same and being an athlete I know that the skill set is there so I just had to apply it to this bike everything's the same there's just a different bike because I do wanna travel and experience new bikes. And even though it was a cold, foggy day, I still had an incredible time and I can't thank my friends enough for making my day so special and making me feel comfortable. And my friend Remark has a really cool YouTube series with one of our close friends, Martins Lisi's, and I wanna link that below. And I hope you guys go check it out because it's just an incredible series and I have loved watching their process over the years and how far they've come. And thank you, Romark, for helping me with this video. And one last moment of realization that I had during this whole experience is I did not realize how much of a bond I have formed with my Triumph. And I compared my bike to this bike the whole time and I can appreciate other motorcycles, but it's just really cool because I officially have bonded with my street twin. And I thought that was a really cool experience, so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.